Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. Today we are going to learn to talk quickly in English. I have a secret that will help you talk quickly. Listen to this conversation between Juan and Maria. Juan and Maria are new friends. They talk and learn about each other. Juan asks, are you married? Maria says, no, I am not married. Then Juan asks, are you single? And Maria says, yes, I'm single. I'm divorced. Juan asks a question that I hear a lot. Are you married? You say it. Are you married? Say it again. Good. And Maria answers with a negative sentence. Here is a rule you use when you say no to a person. A sentence that uses the word no is called a negative sentence. You use a negative sentence to say something is not true or not what you want. Maria says, no, I'm not married. Negative sentences often start with the word no and have the word not in the middle of the sentence. Listen for no and not in this answer. No, I'm not married. Hear them? Listen again. No, I'm not married. That is not my secret. Look at this word in Maria's answer. I'm. Say it. I'm. Say it again. I'm. I'm is a short version of the subject I in the verb am. I am. I am. Say the long version. I am. I am. Now say the long and short versions next to each other. I am. I'm. I am. I'm. You say them. I am, I'm. Say them again. In English, we call this short version a contraction. Contraction. That's a big word. Contraction. Try it. Say contraction again. I'm is a contraction for I am. English speakers use contractions to speak quickly and sound relaxed. That is my secret. Contractions help you speak quickly. Listen to Maria's answer. No, I'm not married. I'm not married. A contraction lets us leave out letters of some words so we can talk quickly. I am. Leave out the A and put a little mark on the paper. That will be the short way. The mark is called an apostrophe. Apostrophe. Say it again. Apostrophe. Wow, that's a big word for a little mark on the paper. If someone asks you the question, are you married? You can answer lots of ways. You can say, no, I'm not married. I'm single. Or you can say, Yes, I am married. 
Hear the contraction? I'm. Listen again. I'm married. Married means you have a spouse. A spouse is a husband or a wife. Single means you are alone and have no special friend. Say the word married. Married. Say it again. Say the word single. Single. You say it. Good. You can also answer the question, are you married? By saying, I'm divorced. Divorced means a marriage is broken and the person has no spouse right now. Say divorced. Divorced. You say it. Divorced. Say it again. If you say, I am widowed, that means your spouse is dead. Widowed. Widowed. You say it. Widowed. Say it one more time. If you are widowed, I'm sorry. It's polite to say, I'm sorry, if someone answers, I am widowed. Let's practice, I'm sorry, just in case. I'm sorry, you say it. I'm sorry, say it again. I'm married. I'm single. I'm divorced. I'm widowed. I'm married. I'm single. I'm divorced. I'm widowed. And I'm sorry. All of these sentences have a contraction. I'm. Let's practice. Are you married? Answer again. Are you married? If I say I'm widowed, what do you say? That's right. I'm sorry. Try it again. I'm widowed. I'm sorry. Right. Juan hears Maria's answer and he asks her another question. Are you single? Are you single? Say this question. Are you single? Say it again. This question is different than the first question. Listen. Are you single? This time Juan wants to know if Maria is single. Maria answers with a positive statement. She says, yes, I'm single. I'm divorced. There are many contractions in that answer. Single means she has no special friend. Divorced means her old marriage is broken. We say she is single now. Let's ask you, are you single? You might say, I'm single, or no, I'm not single. I'm married, or divorced, or widowed. You answer. Are you single? Tell the truth. One more time. Are you single? 
Now you have a lot to talk about when you meet new people. And you can talk quickly using contractions. This will save you a lot of time. You are learning quickly, and now you are talking quickly. Well done! There's more English to learn. Hello class will return in a moment. Hello, I'm Ruth. Learning to speak English can change your life. Knowing this valuable language can provide you with so many opportunities in education as well as the job market. Now you can learn English just by watching television. Introducing Hello Channel, a channel designed to help you learn English right in your own home. You can choose from Hello Channel's classroom programming or you can watch great entertainment. All of it will teach you how to speak English. Hello Channel offers programs on every level, so you'll find something exactly right for you. Start today to build success by learning English. For a brighter future, say hello. Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. We're glad you could join our class. Today, I have a very important rule about a man and a woman. A man can be a husband and a father. He can be single or married. A woman can be a wife and a mother. She can also be single or married. But that is not the rule. The words man and woman mean one man and one woman. Man, woman. You say them. Man, woman. The word man has an ah sound. Man. The last part of woman has an i sound. Woman. Now you say this. One man, one woman. Again. One man, one woman. Let's use the word man and the word woman in a sentence. This man is a policeman. Now say, this man is a policeman. This woman is a doctor. Say woman. Now say, this woman is a doctor. This man is a construction worker. Say man. Now say the whole sentence. This man is a construction worker. This woman is a housewife. Say woman. Now say, this woman is a housewife. One woman, one man. Now pretend we are at a party. At the party, there are four men and four women. Listen to this. Four men, four women. Four men, 
for women. Now you say it. For men, for women. Here, both words have an e eh sound. Men and women. Now hear the words for man and men next to each other. One man, two men. One man, two men. You say them. Hear the difference? One man, two men. Say them again, please. Now say, one woman, two women. One woman, two women. You say them. One woman, two women. Say them again. Let's go back to the party. At the party, there are four men and four women. Two women are doctors, and two women are housewives. The women are housewives. That's right. One housewife, two housewives. Say that. The F sound turns into a V sound when we talk about more than one housewife. Back at the party, two women are doctors and two women are housewives. Two men are construction workers and two men are policemen. That is how we use the words men and women in a sentence. We use the words when we are talking about more than one man or more than one woman. Now let's talk about the party. At the party, two women are doctors and two women are housewives. Don't forget, it's women and housewives. Now you say, two women are doctors. Say it again. Two women are doctors. Now say, two women are housewives. Say it again. Two women are housewives. What about the men? Men. At the party, two men are construction workers. And two men are policemen. Don't forget, it's men and policemen. Now you say, two men are construction workers. Say it again, two men are construction workers. Now say, two men are policemen. Good! Two men are policemen. Say it again. Here is a big test. We call it a final exam. A final exam is a big test. Ready? Here is your final exam. Who was at the party? I'll help you with the first one. Two women are doctors. What's next? Good! Two women are housewives.
What's next? Two men are construction workers. What's next? Good. Two men are policemen. That's right. You passed your final exam. There's always more English to learn. See you again soon on the next episode of Hello Class.